For soybeans like we have here, a pre-plant, at-plant, or top-dress, side-dress application is, uh, are frequently used on soybeans. Uh, why do we want to consider uh, nitrogen or nitrogen and sulfur on soybeans? Is because early on in their development, uh, prior to uh, the uh, nodulation process, uh, nitrogen has been shown to be uh, beneficial very early on in that early growth and development prior to the uh, formation of nodules. But then later on, especially during pod fill, it's been shown that supplemental uh, nitrogen or nitrogen and sulfur can uh, increase high potential yield uh, of soybeans during that pod fill uh, period. When top dressing nitrogen and sulfur, both the nitrogen and the sulfur components have been shown to be uh, yield enhancing, especially on high yield uh, soybeans. Uh, work previously done at Kansas State University has shown when you have high yielding or high yield potential soybeans, that supplemental nitrogen can give you uh, a yield bump. And more recently in work at the University of uh, Illinois on the uh, sulfur uptake, the sulfur uptake pattern showed that the uh, uptake of sulfur late in the development of soybeans is very important. When you top dress nitrogen and uh, sulfur on soybeans, what you're looking for is a nitrogen form that resists losses and the sulfate form of S. Ammonium sulfate delivers that and what you're looking for with that nitrogen is a, a, a non-volatile uh, form of, of nitrogen and also a form of N that resists denitrification and leaching. And on the sulfur side, the sulfur component that's in ammonium sulfate is in the sulfate form and that sulfate form is the only form of sulfur that plants take up and utilize and it can be immediately uh, utilized. So if you put the combination of both the ammonium form of N and the sulfate form of S sulfur, um, uh, ammonium sulfate is agronomically ideally suitable uh, for top dressing on soybeans.